back, man, when you talked about your grandfather, uh, explain that gentleman, man, in a few sentences, few uh, minutes. What type of guy is he? Oh, Billy Joe Peoples. Let me tell you. <laughs> Billy Joe Peoples. Uh, he cheap. <laughs> Hard-working man, though. Hard-working man. Uh, like I said, him and his brothers went out and purchased properties in the Birmingham area. He, he didn't teach me directly, but he taught me through his actions and his work ethic. More so than anything that I picked up from him was that when you don't want to do something, what makes or breaks a person um, is doing the work even when you don't want to do it. Plenty of days, many days. Uh, he come and get me. He take us down to a property. Work you to death. Won't even give you $20. Wow. <laughs> You'd be lucky to get something to drink, a Gatorade or anything. So as a young kid, I knew what hard work was. Um, like I said, hard working man. Uh, ta taught you how to scratch a dollar. It's not about the show. It's about what it is. Um, if I had to say anything about him, that would be it. Good deal. Uh, you talked about briefly about losing that home when your father passed. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of hardships you think that caused? Was it more of the financial, emotional, or what? What did you did the family come more together or separated? What happened during that time? Well, you know it's. it's it affects everyone differently. As a child, you're not too much worried about financial hardships. The only thing you know is, hey, I got a roof over my head, I'm having fun, I have, got a couple toys in the toy box, and hey, move, carry on, move forward. But um, if anything affected me with that situation, I would say that um, when anyone loses a parent or a person that has influence in their life, who do you look for in order to replace that gap? So as a young man, you find yourself going to the streets, going to other things, and finding alternative ways to to fill that gap that you need. So you ended up so you end up with no God is making bad decisions mm -hmm. because no one is over you in order to tell you, son, I've been down that road, think about this, think about that, and I model my life somewhat behind my losses. Um, my, what I mean by that is this is that I believe in breaking generational curses. My father passed away when I was a young child, or was murdered. Um, the reason that I changed my life primarily, not only for myself, but for my sons, because some of the things that I saw that, that affected me in my life, I did not want them to affect my children in their lives. Some of the uh, mistakes that I made from not having uh, uh, a reference point of a man. I didn't want. I didn't want my kids to make the same mistakes and make the same ill decisions in which I did. So.